a review of the book, The Life of Christ in Stereo, an interwoven edition of all four Gospels, no words supplied and no words left out. The New Testament section of the Holy Bible includes four Gospels, that is, accounts of the birth, life, teaching, death, and resurrection of Jesus, who was born around 2 BCE and departed as late as 33 CE. The four Gospels, named for their presumed editors, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, relate many same facts and accounts, each one differing from the others in details, arrangement, wording, and unique facts. Johnston Cheney, a veteran of World War I, whilst convalescing from tuberculosis, undertook to compare the four Gospels in their early Greek versions. Through years of study, Cheney found that he could interweave details from the four Gospels into a single account supplying no other words and omitting no words. Let us take, for example, the laying of Jesus' body in a tomb. Taking all the details from the four Gospels, we get the following blended account. First, in Greek. In the end, the top of the stabroth keepers, can the keep of the meon can on the latomis and the osif at the trasuk and udi supokimenos, oti imera in paraskevis ke sabaton epefosken, kioti egisin tom ni meon, ethican ton isun ke proskilis as lithon megan epitin theran to mini meo apilthen. Then in English. Now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new sepulchre, which Joseph had hewn out of the rock, and where no one had ever been laid. So, because it was the preparation day, and the Sabbath was coming on, they laid Jesus there, for the sepulchre was near at hand. And they rolled a great stone against the door of the sepulchre, and departed. This method, by retaining all the details of the four Gospels, resolves a number of issues whilst raising a few others. For example, the differences that exist between the four Gospels constitute neither contradictions nor disagreements. The events and discourses recounted in the four Gospels, including their details, must derive from a common source of eyewitness testimonies. Peter may have denied Jesus six times, thrice before a cock crowed, and thrice again after the cock crowed. Jesus' public ministry may have lasted four years, including five Passover feasts. They apparently crucified Jesus on Thursday and entombed him before sundown. Thus he lay dead three nights and three days, rising back to life Sunday morning on the third day. Get the book under one of these titles. The Life of Christ in Stereo, 1969, The Greatest Story, 1994, and The Greatest Life Ever Lived, 1999. Write to us to obtain a free PDF file of the interwoven Gospels without notes and appendices.